Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been on Capitol Hill for just a few days and she's already got Fox News losing their damn minds. This is all in the last 24 hours. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. 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 Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Right, right. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And wait, one more, just because it's my personal favorite. It's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Cortez, uh, Ocasio-Cortez. I mean. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Ah, Stuart Varney, the gift that keeps on giving. Hey, at least he's trying. But seriously, Fox News has completely lost it over Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez because she's everything they fear. She's a millennial, which Fox's geriatric viewers love to sneer at. She's Latina of Puerto Rican descent, which Fox's viewers love to vilify. But most of all, the thing Fox is most obsessed with and fearful of when it comes to AOC, her strength. Laura Ingram full-on lost it about Alexandria, as well as incoming no-corporate PAC representatives Ayanna Presley, Ilan Omar, and Rashida Tlaib calling them this. These women may as well be the four horsewomen of the apocalypse for the Democratic Party, if you ask me. The apocalypse, yikes. She then splashed their terrifying policy priorities across the screen. Ah, giving your children health care and an education and jump-starting a sustainable economy so we can be at the forefront of green energy? Oof, I'm shaking in my boots. Look, it's no secret that Fox News goes after Democrats hard. I mean, who remembers this Fox criticism of Obama? A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab? The gesture everyone seems to interpret differently. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I can't get over that one. Holy smokes. But Fox's obsession with an incoming congresswoman is different. She isn't the president of the United States, the most powerful person on earth. She's just headed to be one of 435 U.S. representatives. So why are they covering her this much? Why does their unhinged rhetoric rival the rhetoric used against former President Obama? Well, it's because they recognize that she is powerful. Their nonstop smear campaign against her is not by accident. And yes, they're focusing on silly stories to smear her, like the fact that she's having trouble affording DC rent and the fact that she split her time between the Bronx and an upstate New York home. But they're also focusing on smearing her policies, which is what they're really afraid of. They're terrified that her brand of democratic socialism is gaining steam no matter how many times they scream, Venezuela, Medicare for all, 70% of Americans support it. How about college for all? More Republicans support it than don't. A Green New Deal, an overwhelming amount of Americans support the policy goals. And unlike Democrats of the past, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is not backing down. She is refusing to take no for an answer on her important policy goals, goals that the American people actually want. Fox News doesn't want the word to get out, but they're failing and they know it. And that's why they're terrified of Alexandria's strength. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.